I've been in this place before, a couple of, I think it was about a couple of years ago. That is unbelievably random. Check this out, everyone. Look at this. Yeah. Are you the queen of the area? Obviously. <laughs> I can tell. You look like a star from the 1930s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is Seriously, rude. though. <laughs> that what? Is it a beautiful love story? What happened? <laughs> Well, she just saw me. And Did just you bat your eyelids at him? <laughs> yeah. right, uh, you can imagine the German Luftwaffe firing the, the, from the, the, the bullets down on the beaches, and the guys were just looking at seeing where the bullet marks were hitting sand coming up, and they'd just roll left or roll right just to avoid being hit. Christ. Good morning, everyone. It's been a while, hasn't it? I thought I'd do an interesting one today, so I'm starting off the video with something random. Instead of picking where I'm going to go, I'm going to be led by a sign. So I'm walking down this country lane. The first sign that I see, I'm going to take as the universe telling me to go there. Okay? Um, I'm going to take this sign, I'm going to type it into Google, and whatever comes up, if this place exists, I'm going to go there. And that's, that's how I'm going to start this video. Alright? Alright, we've got a sign already. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Six Deepdale. Okay, well, let's check Google Maps. I've typed in Deepdale and it says Deepdale Cafe, 90 miles, Burn Burnham Deepdale. So that's the top one. Let's click on it, see where it is. Okay, can you see this? It's in Norfolk. We're going to Norfolk. It's right next to Wells Next to Sea, which is absolutely stunning. So we're going to go to Deepdale Cafe. This is going to be awesome. Bit random, but there we go. And then we're going to film a travel vlog in Wells Next to Sea. Right. Let's get to it. Morning everyone. We are on Saturday morning. Set off early towards Norfolk. We're in Norfolk right now, it's gorgeous. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm absolutely starving, I've not eaten yet. I've deliberately waited to get to the cafe. Are they open? Have they got a sign for me? Because I figured, you know, being that I found the sign on the side of a country road, maybe they've got a message for me. I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna see their bewildered expression when I ask them if they've got a sign for me. Hello everyone. I'm at the Deepdale Cafe. And you know the bonkers thing about this? The bonkers thing is that I've been here before. I've been in this place before, a couple of, I think it was about a couple of years ago. That is unbelievably random. There's the Deepdale Cafe right there. This is where I've been before. I remember sitting here that is bonkers. Deepdale Cafe. How you doing? Have you got a message for me? Sorry? I'm going to tell you something bonkers. I was walking down a country lane and I saw a farm that said Deepdale, right? Right. So I then clicked on Google Maps right at the top and it took me to your cafe. So I've come all the way from Essex <laughs> to here through a random sign. Honestly, <laughs> what, is your, what is your message? Make it, make it up, make it up. <laughs> Sorry. Sure, okay, there you go. Right, there is no message, right? But it's the, the food's good, I remember coming here. Okay. Which is bonkers, isn't that weird? Yeah. Random start to the video. We're going to get across now to Wells next to the sea, which is the major area of filming. We're going to come out of here. Right, everyone, Wells next to the sea is a historic port town, and it lies on the north Norfolk coast in between Holcombe and Stiff Key. Let me tell you, it's a stunning place. I'm looking forward to showing it to you. Right, everyone, we are in the center of Wells Next to the Sea. You've got to love this place. If you've, got, if you've not been to Wells Next to the Sea, you've got to come, and I'm going to show you why you should come. It is beautiful. But right now, we're going to check out the beach and outer harbor. And this is fascinating. On the way as well, as I remember, yeah, there they are. You've got people crabbing. So I'm gonna show you, we're coming up to it now. Let's have a look. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, good. How's your crabbing going? Very good. good. Yeah? Very good. Are you locals, are you? Uh, we came from Stanford. Stanford? Yeah, Lincolnshire. Oh, Lincolnshire. Yeah, over on the one there. It's, very, it's one of our favorite spots, um, as well as Sheringham, along the coast. Sheringham, I don't think I've been there, actually. Sheringham's a lovely beach. Really Beautiful beach as well. Where you yeah, stay? You staying right here? No, no, we just travel for the day. So just for the day? two hours. Two hours in the morning, so we're here early, about nine o'clock. Lovely, I'll leave you to it. Have a, Have a good day, yeah? Cheers. Look at this doggy. 
He's brilliant, isn't he? He is. <laughs> Are you locals, though, mate? No. Well, You're not locals? We live back in, well, we live towards Ipswich, so we live in Suffolk. Oh, nice, mate. Lovely. Lovely. Not far away, are we? You've got a few crabs there. We have indeed. Did you get them, did you? Lovely. This is lovely. Let me read this here. Leave your daily stresses and strains behind. Take a minute to look out across the harbour towards the horizon under the big north Norfolk sky and contemplate how awesome life is. We hope you relax and enjoy your time here at Wells Harbour. Isn't that sweet? I love it. So let's look out at the harbour. Let's look. There we go. Beautiful. How lovely is that? People just enjoying themselves, doing simple stuff. They're not on their phones. They're crabbing. They're crabbing, aren't they, mate? Yeah, very nice. And now, what we're gonna be walking along here now, I believe this is about a mile or a mile and a half to the beach. I have to double check, but here it is. It's part of the Norfolk Coastal Path. Right, I've got a bit of a walk ahead of me, so uh, I'll see you near the beach. See you then. Right, let's make our way down through pine woods. Right, so we're gonna pass through the beach cafe. It looks bustling. It's nice actually, it's nice and cool. It's overcast, but it's still pretty warm. Hey doggy. Right, what you're gonna find is that Wells Beach is situated in an area of outstanding natural beauty. And we're passing through the Holcomb national nature reserve as well so you're going to find that the trees the landscape is beautiful lots of people walk dogs through here as well so it's a great place to take your family pet let's get to the beach shall we check this out everyone look at this Have you been to Wells Beach? And it is absolutely rammed. In fact, I've not been here when it's been this busy. That's beautiful, isn't it? Let's ask some of these guys and see if they own these. Do you own the shack? No, you're renting? How much are they? 50 quid a day? That's okay, isn't it? It's not bad. Yeah, very nice. Does anyone own a beach shack? I wonder how much they cost. Let us know, anyone in the comments who lives here, how much do the beach shacks cost here on Wells Beach? Yeah. It's a lovely scene, isn't it? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited. No, I've, got, I've got some right girls here. <laughs> so you're, um, you're traveling for a week or so? Yeah, just Four days. Four days. Four days. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently you've You've been to Wells for many years, is that right? Yeah, since she was three and she's 56 now. You're 56? <laughs> You're doing well, aren't you? No, is I'm it the oil of Olay? I'm just a friend. <laughs> You're just a friend. Oh, this is your daughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're 56? Yeah. I'm well, sorry, you girls been in the time machine? Yeah, so... And you're in 65, come on. Yeah. Stop it now. <laughs> so, since she was three, so what, what changes have you seen? Oh. Not, not a lot really. No. The beach hasn't changed at all. No. The beach ups where and everything. Yeah. And really the harbour hasn't. You no. Know, just in the village, different shops have changed hands, you know. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So it's pretty it's much just, stayed as it is. It's pretty much, honestly, it's like a time walk. But Only, the brewery would have been there, wouldn't it? That The brewery would the have been The grain operate. store was there. The grain store, yeah. yeah. The big boats from Holland used to come up here and go up into the village. Right. And then the grain store was there and we used to watch him load the grain into the warehouse. Did you? But that's not there now. 
it's it, it's all that's gone. So you must be quite local then to come here on a holiday, or where'd you, where'd you come from? Um, well, between well, Derbyshire. Oh right, you're not local at all. <laughs> Why? We just loved it. And somebody we knew, they got a caravan near on Pinewoods. Yeah. And, and he got a beach as well, so he yeah. lent it us and we used to come with the girls. Oh, very yeah. nice. Yeah, got my other daughters older than that one, so it was great. Yeah. yeah. Come with the grandchildren. Yes, and they're great grandchildren. Great grandchildren. Oh, lovely. Yeah. You alright, kids? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And they're 50 quid, these, apparently. Is that right? I was that? very lucky because we've been, um, we've been given the use of them for a few days. So. Have you? Yeah. Exclusive? So, yeah. Are you the queen of the area? Obviously. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Queening it up round here. <laughs> and you're the queen mother. <laughs> right, I'll leave you girls to it. Thank lovely you. to speak to you, yeah? All the best. See ya. Ta -da. So what makes a great beach? So in my opinion, this is one of the greatest beaches and I'll tell you why. You've got this massive open sand, huge amount of space. The sea is right out there. So yes, it's a bit of a walk, but it's great. And you've got these layers, right? Okay, here's the layers. That's what I'm talking about, about a great beach. This beautiful coniferous trees here, the sand dunes. Then of course, you know, you've got the beach shacks over there and it's just a beautiful scenery. I love it. You look like you belong in LA. <laughs> What's going on there? It's the high vis clothing. <laughs> is it? You look like a star from the 1930s. Oh, <laughs> that, that is Seriously rude. though. <laughs> what did you act in? Come on, what no, film? I wish I did act this. Come on, you've been in a time warp, haven't you? I probably have. <laughs> I love it. So you guys come back here quite quite often every year? Yeah, every year yeah? we do a 20. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's really and you're nice. from Scotland, obviously. I am from Scotland. Yeah. Whereabouts? Glasgow? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Oh, you're from East Coast, yeah. Beautiful. Did you catch the festival? We've been many years, but I've been I've lived down here twenty years now, so Are you I've still... still got the accent. <laughs> it's quite a refined accent, isn't it? <laughs> right, see you later guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Okay, we are leaving Wells Beach reluctantly. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? And the scenery, the backdrop is just incredible. And we're gonna to head towards the town to check that out thoroughly. Looking forward to this. Okay, everyone, we're coming into Wells. Beautiful weather, it's bustling. And I wanna show you this. Check this, uh, check this sculpture out, this horse sculpture. Right, so here it is, right? It's called the Lifeboat Horse by an artist called Rachel Long. It's 10 foot, three meter sculpture and it celebrates the work of the horses that used to tow the town's lifeboat out to sea in the 1800s. Guys and girls, is this not beautiful? You've got people kayaking over there. Hopefully I'll be able to do that this weekend. Okay everyone, let's head down the, uh, the main street. This is French's fish and chip shop. I've eaten here before, I'll see what? I would recommend it highly. Very famous, 1921. We've been doing that. We've been making fish and chips. Beautiful. Okay, I've just eaten my French's fish and chips. And like everyone else, look, we're all sitting down, people watching. That is what we are doing. We're eating fish and chips and people watching. I think it's just a brilliant sport, isn't it, for people watching? Right, this should be bustling because it's the bank holiday. So we're on Straight Street. Let's have a little look and see what we've got down here. It says here now, Norfolk, what's this? Norfolk Creations Art and Craft Exhibition. Uh, let's find out. I think this is obviously used to be a brewery. Let's have a little look here. 
We've got the visitor information box office. Right, I've just encountered Becca. She's brilliant. She, you're going to take me around. Tell, tell us a little bit about the history of the area and the Maltings, right? Yes, yes, yes I am. Brilliant um, stuff. This, as you see here, is part of the old building, the old Maltings. So that's the sort of original part of the building. What is a Maltings, just in case people don't, so, don't know what it is? It's part of the kind of barley and grain industry. It's okay. part of um, sort of how they processed it to be used in beer. Um, okay and I believe it was used for storage as well, for kind of, it, the harbour used to ship tons and tons of grain out to London and elsewhere. Okay, so this is the Heritage Centre. Yeah, so this is part of the old building as well. Okay, um, cool. And uh, it was all used in the, um, the barley production right. line. So um, you'll still see a lot of barley farms around here. Um, Adnams grow a lot of their barley here. Really? Yeah, they do. Was this a big deal as far as um, barley was concerned then? This, I guess it would have been. Was this the only maltings in the area? Were there were quite a few. There were a lot, there were a lot of maltings. Yeah. In Wells alone there were, I think, around 18. Um, so this was a major distributor for beer? It was, yeah. Um, I, I think sort of back in the day a lot of the beer was produced elsewhere, but, uh -huh. but now we have some really great local breweries. There's one just up the road called uh, Malt Coast that um, I really like, and there's yeah. Martian Brewery. There's Do you like a tipple yourself then? I don't mind a bit. Yeah? <laughs> you like a sneaky beer, especially on a day like this. <laughs> exactly. It's lovely. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you, Becca. Right. There's a lot to see here, so we're going to skip through this exhibit here at the Maltings, the old Maltings. This is nice. During the 1700s and 1800s, shipbuilding was a major industry in Wales before the railways, its vessels were the backbone of its coastal trade with London and the north. So huge maritime town, isn't it? And you can see that because if you come over here, look, smuggling, anarchy and murder. Sunday, September 26, 1784, Thomas Mitchell and a troop of dragoons ride for old Hunstanton Beach to intercept smugglers. So big problem with smugglers they had. And here, of course, is a homage, really, to the lifeboat crews of Wells. Listen to this. I'm not sure if this is good luck or not for a lifeboat, but Wells' first lifeboat came from the Norfolk Shipwreck Association in 1830. Anyway, come and check this exhibition out. Obviously, there's lots to see. I'm not going to go into this in detail, but come and check it out. It's awesome. Wells gets a mention in the Doomsday Book, not for its harbour, but for its sheep. Sheep were reared for their cheese rather than their flesh or wool, and they were used to fertilise the soil to make it suitable for growing barley. And barley was then turned into malt for brewing, which became important much later. Wells is also a fishing port, and in 1337 had 13 fishing boats used to catch fish on the Norfolk coast, and within a couple of hundred years, brought back cod from as far away as Iceland. Given that the boats were entirely powered by sail and lacked any navigational aid, save a primitive compass and a lead line, that any of them survived was a tribute to the seamanship of the crew. Right, so we've learned a little bit more about Wells, and we're gonna now move towards the East Quay and shops, which is over here. So let's do it. East Quay and shops, let's go. Look at this lovely couple. Yeah. Oh, us, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys. So you, you said you lived here? Yeah, we got a holiday home 21 years ago. We bought it. And oh, that's lovely. Actually, we bought three. It's so cheap here. 20 years ago, three? we bought three. Come on, man. It was so cheap here, honestly. Really? Yeah, and then sold off, and then we kept one. Oh. You give me one, yeah, for free? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate. Made a good yeah. profit so we don't have to rent out anymore. That is. Used to do rentals here, but that's really? a hassle now, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. You're just living the life, you're loving it? Living the life now, yeah. Tell us about, I mean, these fishing boats, these are these are proper fishing boats here. Yeah. They they actually go out and do the fish, but you can you can go out on a fishing excursion here, right? Well, you can go fishing right yeah. out on the, uh, the front. The seal, you can. I was going to say that, right, so you can go to, is it Blakeney Point? 
Leighton Employers now I've the done seals. yes, and Morston. Yeah, I've done it. Amazing, Morston, absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, where do they go to get? It is Blakeney Point, isn't it? Blakeney Point. They just yeah. go out from Morston mm -hmm. and then go straight out. It's only a couple, but that's no, not very far. About half a mile out. Right, lovely. I was going to say, seals. link in the description for that because it is in, it's epic, isn't it? Yeah, it's so cool. It's so yeah. cool. And the seals are enormous, aren't they? They're very big. Ah. They're, They're come huge. Up the, the side they of the boat. Up. Yeah. <laughs> they do, do they? They come on the beach as well. What else, what else can you do here? What else? When you come down, what else do you do? We go walks. Because you can have to Stifka, just down the road. Stif Stifki or Stif Stifki? Yeah. It's called Stifki, but it's pronounced Stifka. Oh, really? Yeah. See, look at the recommendations we get from yeah. the, the prop. I know I know you you, you don't live here, do you? But you, no. you're come, you, you come here very often, don't you? So yeah. where do we live? Where do you live? Thailand. You live in Thailand? Yeah. We've got a place in Phuket. Thai. And she's not Thai now. I'm not Thai. I expect that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We are but Hong Kong people. Yeah, Hong Kong. You are, are getting, you're, you're Hong Kongese. It's getting better and better, isn't it? Hong Kongese, yeah. yes. Wow. I went out to Hong Kong when I was uh, a teenager. Yeah. With my dad, and then um, just loved it, then stayed, and then worked. Work. Did you meet out there, you guys? Yeah. yeah. Did you? <laughs> yeah. No, what? Is it a beautiful love story? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, she just saw me. And Did just you bat your eyelids at him? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately she fell in love when she saw me. Really? I believe that, yes. <laughs> it happens, does it? It happens, yeah. In wow. my mind. In your oh, mind. Yes. <laughs> Could you tell everyone, right? What this is over here? Ooh, right. That's our neighbour. That's our neighbour. That's your neighbour, right? Let's yeah. let's look up. I'm going to come behind behind your shoulder here. It's, uh, it's part of the granary complex. This is the granary, right? Yeah. The yeah. old granary. Old granary. More okay. Than 100 years ago. 120 years ago. 120 years ago. Yeah. And it, it would um, it would be for the uh, uh, what was it? The wheat. Uh, the meal. Meal. How do you make beer? It's out of um, malt. Malt. That's malt. Right. and that that would be the. The malt house or the salt house it was. Oh, right there. Yeah, oh, that in the background. So it's all stored there, and then when the barges come in, yeah. it would all be up and then uh, flow over the over, over there, there into, into the, the boats. Barges. Yeah. Into the boat. Isn't yeah. that beautiful? Yeah. Listen, guys, you've been absolute stars. Aww. Thank you. I'm going to let you get on, enjoy okay. the Thank rest you. of the evening. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy the fish and chips. I've already had them, don't worry about that, mate. <laughs> all the best. I think it's time for a Wells Next to Sea montage. Let's do it. So I've just found a, a boat called the Lucy Lavers. This was involved in the Dunkirk evacuation of the soldiers in World War II. So would have saved a lot of men, I would have thought. I would guess. And you can take a tour in it now. And it looks like that's a tour at the moment. Well, the captain's just invited me onto the boat, the Lucy Lavers. You're the captain, aren't you? No, I'm You're not? crew. I'm crew. I'm Dave. Nice to meet You're you. You're crew. Adam, yeah. nice to meet you, my friend. And you too, Adam. Hello. Brilliant. So, the Lucy Lavers, famous boat. Yeah, so uh, she's one of the little boats from Dunkirk. Amazing. Uh, built in 1939. Yep. Uh, Graves and Gutteridge built her in the Isle of Wight. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, she, within two months of her build, she was requested under Chamberlain to join the many boats and flotillas to get their way down to Ramsgate to go and help with the Operation uh, Dynamo, which was what it was called at Dunkirk. Operation Dynamo ran from May the 27th to June the 5th. She became what was called a shuttle boat, uh, waiting, relying on the smaller boats to get to the beaches to bring the soldiers back on her and she'd offload on the steamboats and frigates further out at sea. Right. Uh, but we know on two separate occasions, Lucy made her own way back down to Dover, yep. uh, fully loaded, possibly between 40 and 50 men, 
uh, assuming she couldn't offload onto the steamboats because they were they were fully loaded. Um, so special lady. Um, as far as Operation Dynamo, little boats were uh, very significant as far as risk. The government looks at the risk for this exercise. Uh, if they could save 50,000 lives or get 50,000 off, then that justified the, the cause of the exercise. Yeah. Uh, the little boats actually doubled that, 98,000. They, they saved 98,000 men. Yeah. And she, Lucy Lavers, saved 43 lives. Yeah, 43, 44 lives. Actually recorded life saved uh, when she was reinstated back to the RNLI after, after Dunkirk. Uh, but yeah, cracking lady. Uh, do some great charters. We do uh, sort of breakfast cruises. We do sunset cruises. Lovely. Private charters. But yeah, a very important part of uh, our naval history, really. Yeah, for sure. And all this time as well, while she was saving lives, having the Germans shooting down, firing down yeah. on the boats, yeah. trying to. Yeah, we had a, a, a chap on here a couple of weeks ago. His, his grandfather was in the Royal Engineers as a yeah. lieutenant. Tried to make light to his grandson what happened in Dunkirk, but he's trying to explain that you can imagine the woolen uniforms the guys wading out to their necks in water. Yeah, you forget uh, that. Yeah, those that didn't make it were lying like sardines on the beaches waiting for the oh. next opportunity. But right. said, uh, you can imagine the German Luftwaffe firing it the, from the, the, the bullets down on the beaches, and the guys were just looking at seeing where the bullet marks were hitting sand coming up, and they'd just roll left or roll right just to avoid being hit. Christ. Brilliant. Well done, guys, for keeping it going. Thank you part of a beautiful part of marital history isn't it yeah did i say marital history well, maritime, <laughs> maritime, you can, you can re-edit that maritime history you'll keep that in because that's funny <laughs> it's real it's a marriage to the marriage boat <laughs> we, 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 we have done we weddings on do here weddings yeah. oh we go you we do weddings do as well weddings. that's pretty cool yeah, weddings and funerals uh, we're sort of also branding ourselves as the uh, no i won't say that <laughs> the newlyweds and the nearly dead so uh, you're all welcome do people go on fishing trips don't they yeah sea fishing it's, trips is good Still a good local commercial fleet here. Yeah. Um, crabs, lobsters, and whelks mainly from Wales. A few other types of shellfish they fish from down the coast. But, really? Um, generally, crabs, lobsters, and whelks. Long old days as well, sort of anything from 13, 16 hour days. Uh, 13, 16 hour days? Yeah, which rotate with the tides as well, so they never they never leave here at the same time every day. Um, Midsummer, again, hard grafting job, you know, those boys. Generally, when it's really hot, we'll work through the night. Yeah. Thanks very much, bud. Appreciate that. No Cheers. Uh, cheers. As light deteriorates here at Wells Next to the Sea, I'm going to say goodbye. Get yourself down here. Check out the beach. It's beautiful. Go crabbing. Take a fishing trip. Do what you want. It's a fantastic place to hang out. It's been a beautiful day for it. So I'm going to see you very soon in the next vid. Take care. Cheers.